everybody welcome back to my channel it's the Oni with thrifty divas and we're here today for a huge dollar tree haul and it's a pretty darn good one i'm super happy with it so it's gonna be long i'm telling you now so you might want to pause it grab a snack grab a drink cozy up however you want to cozy up to watch this and just hang out with me for a giant portion of your day so let's begin i have broken everything down into category for you um and we're just gonna jump right in i am starting with food and drink and even there i found some pretty cool stuff that i was excited about so um i'll start with uh drinks for the most part so they had a life water back at my store i just grabbed two of them that i liked the designs on really that's it and they have the sports tap and they are 23.7 fluid ounces uh these are a repeat purchase this victor allen iced latte i got three of them for my husband again he keeps drinking them up he loves them i got one of every flavor it's 11 fluid ounces i got a caramel a vanilla and a mocha in the blue and then speaking of caffeine drinks i thought these were pretty cool so i grabbed a bunch of these these are hint water but with a caffeine kick it says so they're 16 fluid ounces. There's 60 milligrams of caffeine in one bottle. And they have a black raspberry and apple pear. So I grabbed a few of those from my husband as well. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, I think that's it on the drinks. The rest is gonna be food. So let me just show you this item. I was hoping I was still going to catch these, and I did. So I was tempted at two for a dollar, and I'm like, no, no, they're going to go down to four for a dollar. So these are the Palmer's Valentine's Day little boxes of chocolate, but they are in the football one. So the wrapper looks like a little football, and I got them for four for a dollar because I want to save these for Super Bowl next year, which is what I do every single year. Um, and it's fine because they're good until August of 2022. So I can always buy these on Valentine's Day clearance, take them out, put them in a little bowl, and they're little football-shaped chocolates with laces and everything for the Super Bowl. So I love it. Um, okay, next, I showed these in a walkthrough thanks to my friends Melissa and Michelle over at M&M's Holes and More. Please go check them out. Tell them Theoni sent you. These are the Snack Pack Sugar-Free Puddings, which I'm super excited about. My stores have always had the sugar-free Jellos for a very long time, but never the puddings. So I'm very excited I found these uh, for the sugar-free at a dollar. That's really great. So I picked up a couple of those. And then uh, totally not sugar-free, I picked up one of these small Kraft Jet Puff Marshmallow Creams. Um, I had a like big one of something in my cabinet and it's been there for very, very, very long. And I thought it was going to be rock solid. It was not, but it was like, it wasn't fluffy anymore. So I tossed it and I just picked up a little one of these for fluffer nutters. And I picked up one of these 15 ounce Hisakawa soy sauces. I got these to give a try these uh clemente jacques these are chipotle peppers in adobo sauce they are seven ounce cans and they are a product of mexico so they've got to be good and then in the fruit snacks i picked up one box of the dino fruit snacks you get six packs of them they are by yummy yummy um and now i've seen so many they're made in turkey i've seen mermaids unicorns sharks and these i think that might be it but they've come out with a lot of these now <coughs> then i found this creamy utopia peanut butter it is an eight ounce no i'm sorry a 10 ounce container no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives, and it is a product of India. 
So I got two of these. I am going to be making Henny a birthday cake, an actual birthday cake this time. I've been researching and I've come up with it. It's going to take peanut butter, but uh, I'm going to do that next week. We don't know Henny's exact birthday, but we do know it's before the Ides of March. That's what we were always told by the vet. So uh, next week, I'm going to throw her a little birthday celebration. Yeah. So you'll see some stuff for her in here. All right, next, moving on. I picked up two packs of these. Gels nacho cheese jalapeno cheese sauce. There is four three and a half ounce containers in here. They're good until June 29th of this year. The one thing I do not like about this is the don't microwave the container. I feel like that defeats the purpose, but you'll just have to transport it. But for a dollar, that's great. I actually saw them on clearance at Amazon on Amazon too, and then they were gone. And now they're at Dollar Tree. So go figure. Then, check this out. I found organic gorilla pasta. Yeah. This is a one pound box. So this is organic penne by Barilla. So I picked up two boxes of that. And this is Barilla veggie. Veggie pasta, half a serving of vegetables per two ounce serving. So I grabbed a few of these as well. These are 12 ounce packages. So cool, so cool for a dollar. Um, and I think this might be the last food item coming up now. These, these are five ounce bags of ball rikes. I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry, they're four ounce bags four ounce bags of Bull Reich's sweet potato chips. A touch of salt, it says, and we got into them already, me and little man. They're delicious. They are crinkle cut and they're, they're, they're normally salty. They are not a touch of salt at all. I think, anyway, they're delicious. It's a very, very good um, sweet potato chip. So I got three bags of that and one's half gone. Uh, all right, I think that's it for food. Let me just double check. Food and drink, we're finished. Let's move on to the next category. The next category is going to be um, house stuff and lawn and garden. So the first couple things I picked up were from that like new Brillo display that I showed in one of my walkthroughs. So I picked up the Brillo Basics foaming glass cleaner, 12 ounces, and the Brillo Basics foaming carpet cleaner, also 12 ounces. And then I showed this in a walkthrough as well. Only one of my like 10 stores has had this. So I don't know if it was a fluke or they just got it before everybody, but this is oh so soft toilet paper, four rolls, 400 two ply sheets per roll. This is a product of Mexico. And these rolls are really, really huge. So I don't know, it just seemed like a great, great deal for a dollar. So I picked up a few of these as well. Haven't tried them yet, so I don't even know what it feels like. But for the dollar, I figured I would risk that because they're huge. I don't know why, but they're huge. All right, I lucked out and found my son another one of these crazy straw cups because he had one and he broke it. So, and then I couldn't find them anywhere and I found one just sitting there. So here it is. It's got the straw all along the cup and he loves it a little too much. That's why it always breaks. Next, I showed these in a walkthrough. I couldn't even believe my eyes. So these are hanging wall shelves. They are 15.7 inches long and 3.5 inches wide. There's a metal ring at the top and this like thick jute type of hanger. Unbelievable guys, unbelievable. So I grabbed four 
I'm like, I don't know where I'm putting them, but I'll put them somewhere. So had to grab those as well as both of the laundry signs that I showed in the walkthrough as well. Now, if you're local, all of this cool stuff, the wall shelves and these laundry signs were in the Lake Grove store. So I picked up this first laundry sign. They're both shaped like ironing boards with the jute hanger. This one says laundry room, wash, dry, fold, and it's got the three little baby clothes pins there. They're functional. And the other one is a darker color. And it says wash and dry, open 24 hours. So I picked up both of those. I'm very excited about both those items. Then I never thought I'd find this. And so far I've only seen it at one store. These are the huge planters. I already bought a bunch for my mom. Well, I bought them all together, gave my mom hers, kept two for myself. They also came in a terracotta color, but I chose this pale taupey one. It doesn't say the size on them, but the other ones that they normally have are uh, 10 inch. <laughs> these are much bigger than 10 inch. The only store that I've seen these in is Medford, if you're interested in that. <clears throat> and that was only like yesterday or the day before. So hopefully they still have them. And uh, this might be the last item in house stuff and lawn and garden. I saw these these were out in Riverhead. These solar stakes, but they're perfectly round on top. And I just thought they were very pretty. Just a little different. So I got um, the ones with the silver bottom. They also had them with a black bottom. If you, The whole thing was black. But I got silver. I think they look very fancy and cool. So I grabbed some of those. And that's going to do it for the home stuff. So now let's move on to the next category. So this next category, I'm going to call randoms. It's all different types of things, some stuff that was up near the register and those types of items that don't necessarily belong anywhere else. So I'm going to group them into one category together. First thing I want to show you guys, and I did show these in the walkthrough, they have these gorgeous new tote bags. They, I showed them in the walkthrough. They come in silver, this rose gold, and a really pretty blue dark turquoisey blue with a black strap and I just love it and it's a nice thick vinyl so awesome so I just grabbed one of the rose gold because it's beautiful I've only seen these at one store as well and that was in center each so if you're interested there okay then these Probably should have been housewares, I don't know, but I think of them as beach bags, so I don't know where to put them. But I got one in this beautiful coral that they came out with, and I will be giving this one to my mom because this is her all-time favorite color. So anything I got for her, I'm just going to stick in here so that I could give it to her. But I got her one in coral, and then I got myself the pale, beautiful pink one. And I got a turquoise one for my son. He wants to bring some toys somewhere or anything like that. But yeah, I just love those. Okay, so that's that. Then I lucked out and found one of these left over. So I have this on my keys now. And this is where I keep my debit card. And I don't bring a purse with me like anywhere. So uh, this, the loop here is starting to detach and that's dangerous with your debit card. So I was so happy I found one random loan one and I can replace that now. Next, these handle wraps, I finally found them as well. So I got a pink one because one of my friends is expecting a baby girl in uh, May and I usually have a huge box right there. I put it down on the floor when I film so you guys aren't staring at it But it's a catch-all box for my friend um, He asked me to put anything in there that I'm getting rid of for my son So we have this constant running box But anyway, I got a pink one of those because I thought that would be cute when the little girl is a little older And then I got black and purple. I want to make sure I have one My mom has one and my husband has one for any time my son goes anywhere I disinfect like I'm going into surgery everywhere, but still, it's pretty cool. And then you can just spray this 
you know, when you're done, you can disinfect this and whatever. Antimicrobial wrap, universal, easy to use, one fits most, 15.5 inches long, includes a travel case, reusable and washable. And they have in the display, black, purple, red, and pink. So that is that. Then I'm going to put some footage here right now because they had three different colors of these. This was in Riverhead as well. I'm going to put it right here. But they had these, they call them reusable tote bags. They stay open, right? They don't, they don't close. So they are perfectly clear and they have a star glitter in there with an iridescent handle. So they had silver in the footage you'll see silver gold and a pink one as well and that's the bottom size so i picked up two of these for gift bags because they're gorgeous and a dollar for a gift bag we do it all day so might as well make them super cute and a little special so i picked up two of those all right then here's my randos so I found these in Medford and I picked up one of these to put into my friend Patty from Patty's Chance Holes and more. Go check her out. Tell her Theoni sent you into her next package. It is a little tie-dye with glitter ears kitty coin purse and it's super soft and plush and I just thought it was adorable. So I grabbed her one of those and then so I got her the wood decorative sign that says you're perfect, which was also up by the register. But then I found these matching puzzles. This matches that little decorative sign perfectly. So I grabbed her one of these too. It's an 88 piece puzzle. And when assembled, it measures 12 inches by eight inches. So I thought maybe she could just have a little fun with that. And kind of going along those lines, I also found this one. This is Catitude. This is a little tiny coloring book. Now it is sealed up, so I don't want to open it since it's going to be for Patty. But it says, get ready for 60 sheets of coloring fun packed with pocket size illustrations. This coloring book is sure to entertain for hours on the go. Um, and it shows that there are more. But I only saw the cat one right now. But yeah, that's all going to Patty. And the last rando that I picked up was this Lunchbox Games. This was also down by the register and it's 20 cards, fun and colorful, colorful coloring activity and positive notes for lunchtime fun. So I'll save these till he's older and he can like read. Um, but I just thought they were really cool and I like putting away stuff for him. I still have lunchbox notes put aside, but like I said in my blessings by mail video, he will be starting real school in the fall. So we'll see if that's in person. They're currently in person, so we'll see if it stays that way. And that's it for randos. And now let's move on to the next category. Woo, sun is getting crazy on me. Um, the next category we're going to do is holiday um so it's easter easter would be the category so i picked up this adorable wood look bunny on a wooden stake and it does have the little hanger there i thought he was or she i thought it was gorgeous so i grabbed that then i got the little tinsel trucks pretty sure i have them but i think they're different i, I don't know again my easter is not until May 2nd this year. So we're we're out there. But I just grabbed the blue Happy Easter tinsel truck with the carrots and the pink with the Easter eggs. And I got the two wood signs with the trucks. I think I have one of these from last year. I think I'm not sure. But anyway, Cottontail Farms with the pink truck and eggs and Carrot Patch with the blue truck and carrots. Absolutely beautiful. I love them. And then, guys, are you ready? There was one hanging there. I screamed, looked around, see if anybody noticed. Thought I was being punked. It's a little damaged, but who cares? This was there all by its lonesome. One. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. It's the little pink welcome gnome with the Easter eggs. And I love her. 
So I lucked out and just one was just sitting there. Then I got this pink Happy Easter sign on the stake. And then I also got super lucky again. And look what was hanging there. Woo! Yes. I got the egg one and the carrot one. These are the cutting board signs. I'm wondering if I could leave this out all year long, although it does say Cottontail Farms, but it just says fresh carrots. I don't know, we'll see. But I thought I'd never find them and I did. So I screamed a little again and I got the last that was left. It was meant to be. Dollar Tree gods smiled upon me. One last Easter thing. I got one pack of the giant car eggs. I don't even think I'm going to use them for Easter. I just wanted to have them because they're beautiful. And uh, should there be any left on clearance, I will get more <laughs> to just keep, you know, for like my son's kindergarten class for a goodie bag or something. I don't know, but they're amazing. So, and they're really big. So that is all for Easter. And we are going to move on to the next category. The next category is going to be doggy. So again, remember for Hennessy's birthday as well. Um, but the first thing I picked up was dog biscuits, Greenbrier Kennel Club, one of each kind. So these are the mixed bones. There's lamb, peanut, vegetable, chicken, and cheese. And then these are all peanut butter. And these are both made in Canada in case you were wondering. Then I had to pick her up some birthday presents. The next item is this canine carryout so chicken flavor, five ounce bag made in the USA. Then I also got her these Purina Alpo T-bones, little steak treats. This is a four and a half ounce bag, also made in the USA. And I got her this Greenbrier Kennel Club peanut butter flavor dog bone made in the USA. It's just a big biscuit. And then I got her this ball launcher, hot pink, and the ball is pink and purple. So that was really cool, but that is gonna be for her birthday. And I got her this, this little rope ball to chew up kind of, or just chase around. And the last present is this little bone, which she will tear up in two seconds. That says hashtag spoiled, and it's got a little pink trim, and it's got a squeaker in there but I'm not gonna squeak it because she's right behind me. And this is from the party section, but since it's for Henny, I got her a nine little birthday candle with sprinkles on it, pink outlined. That's how old she's gonna be. Oh my goodness, it seems like yesterday that I got her. Um, so yeah, and that's the pet stuff. So let's move on. The next category I'm gonna move into is crafty stuff. Um, but I am gonna show you a few t-shirts that I picked up because I don't have any other apparel for starters. But secondly, I picked them up to tie dye, except for one. So I figure, let me show you now. So I managed to find two white shirts. One is long sleeve which is absolutely awesome. It's big, it is a youth medium, so it is too big for my son, but better too big than too small. So we will be tie dyeing that. And then I found a 6T, which is like a nice perfect baggy, cause he's a size five. Uh, nice, perfect baggy fit for him right now. And this is Hanes, I think this was too. Yeah, Hanes shirts for a dollar. And then I couldn't find any more white. So I was like, you know what? Close enough. <laughs> it's just a taupey color. So we'll tie dye that too. And then 
Um, I got him another one of these t-shirts that fits him right now, 6T, another big baggy one, but perfect um, to go with this, like this construction worker yellow to go with a pair of windbreaker pants. I picked them up at the thrift store yesterday, which I have to also film for you as well, but these are going to match the stripe on his windbreaker pants to a T. So that's it. Those are the shirts. Okay. Next, these stickers were on my wish list. They had several different varieties, but I just got one of each of these. They had crosses, they had hearts. Um, I didn't see the keys. I thought I saw somebody hold keys like this, but I didn't see them. But I only found these out at Riverhead. I have not seen them anywhere else. And also at Riverhead, I found these. And uh, I'm, I may attach a couple minutes of extra footage, we'll see how it goes, of other things that they had that I did not buy. So I just love this one. Beautiful, nice and simple. It's like a nice filigree type lacy pattern to just decorate a candle holder or a jar with. Then I... If you saw in the walkthrough, I never realized the gold tacky glue was also Aileen's. So I picked this up to put in Gina's package because I told her I'm going to send her anything I find Aileen's because she's my craftiest friend in the best way. And I also found, I showed these in the walkthrough as well, these Aileen's Super Gel. So this says multi-surface adhesive bonds in seconds. Good for jewelry, ceramic, wood, leather, metal, rubber, and plastic. So Gina will be getting one of those too. Then I got this Tulip Metallics Puffy Paint Dimensional Fabric Paint in Violet. And this was at Rocky Point as well as the Aileen's Glues. But then in Riverhead today, I found these Tulips Slicks. This is in Navy Blue. So Gina will be getting one of those too. Okay. And then I found these. I showed these in the walkthrough as well. These are Tulip Crazy Adult Socks in the watermelon scheme. And they just, they're covered in seeds. So if you're really crafty and you're good at dyeing, you can turn these socks into watermelon socks so I will be sending these to a friend as well but I just thought it was super cool and I had to get just at least one pair um and then I got Gina you'll be getting this too I got this tulip color shots which what for a dollar I'm like what is happening my stores only I've seen it in two stores and they both only had this cocoa um, but this is an outdoor upholstery or fabric spray paint and it's water resistant, UV resistant, all of that good stuff. And it's a spray paint, but I mean, unbelievable full eight ounce can. I'm sure something, something will come up where I use that. Um, and I think that's the end of the crafty stuff. So let's move on to the next category. The next category I'm going to get into is toys. So let's start off with the Karina Garcia slime craft city stuff. I love Karina Garcia. I think she's hilarious and adorable. She is a YouTuber and her videos are all over Facebook. Um, anyway, I love her. So um, this is the 12 mini slimes. The pre-made 12 mini slimes. I just grabbed this stuff. I don't even know. I'm sure I'm going to I'm going to put one or two things in my son's Easter basket or whatever. But I wanted to at least pick them up to have them for Toys for Tots, which I collect all throughout the year um because I just think they're amazing for a dollar. What? And then I got this soda slime pack. It's a little two pack. You get grape soda and orange soda. And then if you saw on my walkthrough, they had like eight different types of this, but I picked four. I got the gemstone slime four pack. And I don't even know what it is, but you know, you say gemstones to me and I'm all over it. So I don't know. I don't know. I think they're just like 
I think they're clear. Yeah, ruby, emerald, blue, topaz, and citrine. So just supposed to resemble the color of gemstones. Then we have Karina's pre-made mystery slime. So the two that you do know are orange soda and blackberry blast off. And then who knows? The other ones have question marks. And this is the super stretchy formula. So they're all different. She's like a slime maniac. Obviously she has her own slime. So, but, um, oh, this says filled with gems, the gemstone one. I don't see any though. I'm trying to see if this says what kind of slime. I guess this is just a filled one. So this is filmed. That's super stretchy, the mystery. And then we got metallic slime beautiful shimmering textures these look really cool um this is they're so gorgeous they're really metallic can you see them from here i don't know but we got black hole deep sea flashback and lava and they are gorgeously metallic she's not lying this is ready to play slime in crazy carnival and this has stuff in it it's super stretchy and uh, this is popcorn, snow cone, cotton candy, and ice cream. And you, I don't know, can you see? I th that's probably snow cone because it looks like little bits of ice, but just, just, just super cool. So those are the four I picked up of the tubes. I tried to be good because I wanted to go crazy. I did. Then I picked this up for myself. This is the cross stitch in the cupcake so I'm gonna do that <laughs> I'm very excited and then I got this for my son these were at the Riverhead store as well I thought this these were amazing so I love these my son loves them too these are the pictures that have the paint built in and you like like a palette so you wet your brush and you pick up the paint off of here and then you paint with them. They're amazing, right? So you can like full paint wherever you go. No mess. No, it's crazy. You just need a little bit of water. Um, and you, the paint is on the paper, but it's not a paint with water. I, anyway, let me stop. But I love these and so does he. So it comes with four sheets of that, but then it comes with two little posters and markers for the posters. So all of that, these are new sets, all of that in this little box. So this is Paw Patrol. And then I got two of these because I'm going to give one to his little friend because he's having a play date on Sunday and his little friend loves Hulk. So I got my son one to have so he doesn't get jealous. And then I got uh, the little boy one. So this is Marvel Superhero Adventures. And again, four of those attached paint ones, two markers, I mean, two posters and markers. And there's a one Hulk painting in there. But yeah, I'll leave that out so I don't forget it. Uh, I think that's it for toys. Yeah, we're done with toys. Let's move on. The next category I'm going to get into is health and beauty. Not too many things, but I'll show you. So super boring stuff first. I picked up a bottle of antacids. You get 60. Mm -hmm. Then I picked up two of the Assured All Day Pain Relief compared to Aleve. These have gotten smaller. It used to be 15, now it's 10. So if you happen to be able to find it in 15, still scoop it up because now it's 10. So I got that. Um, then I picked up more wipes so i am getting everything ready for school and uh, i know what's on the list <laughs> so i'm just putting everything away that way i don't have to go absolutely crazy when it comes time for school in the fall and i can just uh mostly shop his closet because i have a whole section of the preparations so they want him to have six of these so I'm going to just pick them up slowly here and there. Yeah, okay. Then I found this one all by itself, and I got all excited. This is Germex. It's an eight-ounce bottle of Germex. Moisturizing Fresh Citrus Hand Sanitizer. It's the only one in the store. 
so I got lucky. Um, then I picked up one of these for myself. This is 7.6 fluid ounces. It's not a great deal, but it's a cute little small bottle and I wanted to give it a try because it says strengthens enamel. But this is Colgate Fresh and Clean, freshens breath and strengthens enamel in fresh mint. Keeps working after brushing. Does not contain ethanol. Okay, good. So it looks like it's alcohol free. Yeah, it just doesn't flat out say it on there like other ones. So super cute. Why don't you try that? Um, and... This was a huge wish list item. I first saw Triple G's uh, haul this and I thought it was a fluke, but I can't believe I found it. And uh, if you haven't checked out Triple G's already, please go check her out. Tell her Theoni sent you. So these are from Target because you can tell by the, by the dollar price on there. These are Crayola Band-Aids and you only got 14 in a pack, but I don't care because they're amazing. Uh, okay, assorted colors. I got nervous there. All one size assorted colors, actual size. I want to see. It. I'm so excited. I'm. I don't. I'm. I'm way more excited about this than I should be. I think. I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, they're really cute. I don't want to waste one, but. So they're shaped like a crayon. They sure are. Yeah. Like orange and yellow ones. I'm so, you don't get many. You only get 14, but man, are they adorable. Sterile, not made with latex. Natural rubber. Yeah. And then I got super confused because you'll see in my next category that I actually did buy Crayola crayons and these boxes look identical. Yeah. All right. And then I got a couple of makeup items and that's going to end this. So the first thing, I mean this category, the first thing I got was this LA Colors Glow Sticks. I just got one. And if you saw in my walkthrough, they had a something else sticks blush sticks blush sticks in two different shades and glow sticks in two different shades they had this in a gold which i probably should have gotten but anyway i got this pink one it's called poppin so let's check it out i just really liked the little package and i thought it was very cute and portable for your purse so that's what that poppin looks like Oh, sorry. My lighting is horrible. Oh, no. My lighting is absolutely terrible. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Not on the pimple side. No. Can't see it. Anyway. Okay, I like it. I think it's adorable. And uh, we'll see if it can be like worn in more places. That would be cool. All right, and the last item in the health and beauty is Maybelline Falsies Mascara in Navy Glam with a spoon brush. Let's see. Wish I had a mirror, but I don't. <laughs> okay, no, we're fine. I got scared. Well, I cannot tell if it's navy or not, but I mean, it's actually really freaking good. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Okie dokes. So that's that. Uh, I still don't know if it's navy though. I need better lighting, but it's definitely good. All right, so that's it. And now we're going to get into the last category, which is going to be stationary and such.
Oh. See it? Highlighter. Okay. All right. Last category, guys. So, first thing I found. I found these at another store once and they only had one of each. And I got them anyway, cause I'm like, I can use them on ends against the wall of a bookshelf, whatever. But this time I found the same ones again. So now I just got them to make a proper pair. So I got the pink metal rose book end and then the purple metal, whatever that is, design with the little feet. Okay, got that. Then, I'm very excited about this. This is a little, and it matches the design of the book end as well, but I got this from a black post-its. So I'm very, very excited about that. They've never had these before, little post-it holders. I'm very happy. It's the little things. All right, sticking with stuff for my son's school. I got three, I know this isn't the best deal because they go on crazy sales at a lot of places, but whatever. Um, I got three packs. They wanted the Crayola 24 packs and they want six. He's got four already saved up. So I just got three more um, to have an extra one or whatever. And this is what I was telling you about in the bags. Like crazy with the band-aids. They did a really good job on that band-aid box. Um, okay. And then the, another thing that he's going to need is like good highlighters. So I'm just going to, again, build up on those, but these are Avery. Um, and I just picked up a, a two pack of those to have for him, for his stash. They prefer Ticonderoga pencils. Uh, I hope Dollar Tree puts them out again, um, for back to school, but in the interim, I found Dixon, and it is Dixon Ticonderoga, so I picked up one pack of the eight-piece uh, number two Dixon pencils. I have an appointment with his school two weeks from today for, like, the application and stuff, so I'm going to find out some of the stuff. Like, if I'm just going to randomly ask them if they want, like, chubby pencils, because the school list doesn't say that. It just says pencils. Speaking of pencils... Uh, I'm going to put in footage of the other two kinds they had as well, but I lucked out and found the little kitties and they're almost like the Chinese kitty, like the waving one, but these are pencils, you know, the, where you keep pushing the lead up and if you lose one piece, your pencil goes in the garbage. Uh, and I don't know if the little kitty is an eraser or not. It is plus eraser toppers. Yes. So pink and purple, and this is the kitty one. So much glare. And they had two other animals that I saw. And then I picked this Scooby-Doo coloring book up. I already have one, but I decided to get another one because my son is getting so into Scooby-Doo, he's making me proud. So I figure we can have the exact same coloring book and then color our pages at the same time. And it'll be super fun. So I got a duplicate. The second to last item is from the teaching tree. And it is a six piece little set for food groups. Yeah. He has a food groups one. I can't remember exactly what it looks like, but I just wanted to grab this. So you have the five food groups. And then over here you have fruits, vegetables, proteins, dairy, and grains. Let's open it up so I don't try to read that minuscule thing. They lied to me.
guess I should go look at his other food groups thing and see. I mean, I'll keep this because eventually he'll need that. Anyway, when he can read. All right, very, very last item in this giant haul. And before we get to the last item, make sure you hit that subscribe button, please. Go ahead, go ahead. You, you like it, you stayed this far. So double check that you're subscribed and please just hit that button. Thank you so much. Helps the channel grow, lets YouTube know that you like us if you hit that thumbs up and write anything down below. You'll see me comment on a lot of my friends' pages that specifically says commenting for the algorithm. So anyway, moving right along after you subscribe. Thank you very much. Very last item in this giant, giant haul. I picked up this uh, little Bible notes pad. It's by Crown Jewels. It's an S. I'm gonna add it to one of my friend's packages whenever I send her another one. And it says, I have loved you with an everlasting love, Jeremiah 31.3. Yes. All right. We're done, guys. We're done. We did it. Woo. And I did blessings by mail before this. Woo. I'm on a roll. Okay. I'm going to go rest now and drink water because I'm thirsty and parched from talking. So until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.